Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 142. Today we'll learn how to convert the speed that is expressed in feet per second to miles per hour. Here's the problem. We are told that we have a bullet. A bullet travels at the speed of 4,200 feet per second. The question simply is, what is the speed, what is its approximate speed in miles per hour? As we look at the answer choices, we notice that we have all the, all the numbers are multiples of 100, which means they are looking for a speed, approximate speed, approximate speed round it to the nearest 100. Even though they do not say it here, it just says what's the approximate speed. Looking at the answer choices, we can com come to conclusion they are looking for a speed rounded to the nearest 100. It has to be the nearest number, that nearest 100 that we can find, and they are all very close to each other. We have to be very careful. Let's do it together. Tell you what, why don't you do it yourself first? Pause the video, solve it yourself first. Once you have the answer, then compare your work against the work that you and I will do together in a few seconds time. I'll give you five seconds for you to be able to pause and unpause the video. Go ahead and do it yourself. Alright, so the speed that we have is 4200 feet, 4200 feet per second in one second. We don't want feet, we want miles on the top. We want miles on the top, so we know one mile is made up of 5,280 feet. We don't want seconds on the bottom, we need hour on the bottom, so we need to put the hour at the, hour at the, hour at the bottom, and one hour is made up of 60 times 60 seconds. You see? 60 times 60 seconds is one hour, so 60 times 60 seconds divided by one hour is one, which is why we're not changing anything. This is still the same quantity, it's being multiplied by one, same thing here, one mile, one hour, one mile equals 5,280 feet, so one mile divided by 5,280 5, feet is again one. So we're not changing the quantity, we're just multiplying it by one and we're multiplying it by one more time. So here we have second on the top, we have second on the bottom, the second is going to cross out, we end up with hour at the bottom. We have the feet, at the, we have feet on the top, it's going to cross out with the feet from the bottom, and we're going to end up with miles on the top, miles or hour. And the number that we need to evaluate is, 4,200, 4,200 times 60, times 60, over 5,280, 5,280. Tell you what, why don't we do this thing on the top here, on the top. I'm going to give, I'm going to give you an unobstructed view for 5 seconds, and then I'm going to erase everything, and we'll do this thing on the top, okay? Okay, here we go. We're going to raise everything now. We need the room. Four thousand two hundred times sixty times sixty over five thousand two hundred and eighty. Now. The sequence of step that I'm going to take, there is no right or wrong sequence. You can go in any sequence as you want. It doesn't matter as long as your arithmetic is correct. So let's begin. I'm just going to do whatever comes to my mind. I see zero at the bottom. I see zero on the top. Let's divide top and bottom by 10. It goes away. I see 528 and we see 6 here. We know 528 is divisible by 6 because it's an even number. It's divisible by 2 and 5 plus 2 is 7. 7 plus 8 is 15. This number is divisible by 3 and 2, which means 528 is divisible by 6. Let's divide it by that 6 there. How many 6 does 5 have? 5 has no 6's. 5 goes and joins the 2, becomes 52. 52 has 8 6's. 8 6 are 48. The remainder four, remaining 4 goes and joins the 8, becomes 48. One more time, and 8 6 are 48. And that 6 goes away. Are you with me? Very good. Then we notice that 88 is divisible by 4, and 60 is divisible by 4. Let's divide top and bottom by 4. 8 has, 8 has two fours and 8 has two fours. 6 has one four, 6 has one four, the remaining two goes and joins the zero becomes 20 and 20 has five four. Which of course was nothing earth shattering. We knew obviously that 15 times four is 60 and we also know that 22 times four is 88. But that's how we go about doing it one digit at a time. What else can we do? 
That's simply not, nothing we can do with 15 and 22. Let's divide top and bottom by 2. This becomes 11, and this is going to become 2100. This is where the things are going to get prickly, because 11 is a prime number. We cannot reduce anymore. We have no choice but to figure out how to divide 2100 by 11. We're going to do it on the side here. 2100 by 11. Okay, so pay attention, see if you understand it. The beauty of this thing is that you can always rewind it and listen to it one more time, as opposed to sitting in a classroom. So let's get going. How many, how many 11 does 2 have? 2 has no 11s. 2 is too puny to have any 11s. That 4, 2 is going to go and joins the 1, becomes 21. How many 11s does 21 have? 21 has 1 11. 21 has 1 11. With the remainder of 10. As I told you before, it's going to get prickly. After you take away 11 from 21, you have a remainder of 10. Listen very carefully. That 10 goes and joins the 0 and becomes 100. How many 11 does 100 have? 100 has 9 11s. 9 11s are 99. After we take away 99 from 100, we have a remainder of 1. That 1 goes and joins the 0, becomes a 10. How many 11 does 10 have? 10 has no 11s. 10 has no 11s. So we have a remainder of 10. We have a remainder of 10, and that remainder of 10 needs to be divided by, that needs to be divided by 11. So the answer is, 2100 divided by 11 is exactly 190 and 10 11th. 190 and 10 11th. Which we're going to approximate, which we're going to approximate as 191. Nobody in, the, in their right mind is going to disagree with you that 10 11th is approximately 1. So 190 and 10 11th is going to become 191. So this quantity, one more time, how many 11 does 21 have? 21 has 1 11. The remainder 10, remaining 10 goes to Joe's Joins a 0 becomes 100. 100 has 9 11s. The remaining 1 goes and joins a 0 becomes 10. And 10 has no 11. So we have 10, 11, and 11 goes away. 190 and 10, 11 is approximately, is approximately 191. So we need to multiply 191 by 15. Answer is 191 times 15. Where can we do it? Where can we multiply 191 by 15? Let's do it here. 191 times 15. And you will see in a second why I'm making such a big fuss about it. Let's do it together, shall we? 15 times 1 is... 15 times 1 is... 15. 15 ones are 15. 5. Carry 10. Carry... Carry 1, rather. Carry 1. Carry 1. 15 times 1 is... 15, 5, carry 1. 15 times 9, 15 times 9 is how much? How much is 15 times 9? Well, how the hell do I know? I know 15 times 10. That I do know. 15 tens are 150. 15 times 10 is 150. Therefore, 15 times 9 will have to be 15 less than 150. That is 135. 135 plus a 1 is 136. 6 carry 13. This is where things get prickly. We're going to carry 13 because it was 136. 6 carry 13. 15 times 1 is 15. 15 times 1 is 15 plus 13 gives us 28. Gives us 28. The answer is 2865 miles per hour. The, the, the speed of the bullet is approximately, approximately 2865 miles per hour. Why approximately? Because we round it, we round it 190, 10, 11 to 191. That's our answer, 2865, and therefore the correct, answer that, the correct answer that was given to us would be, let's look at the answer choices one more time, we had 2500, we had 2700, we had 2800, that's not it, we had 2900, and we had 3000. 2900 is what we're looking for. When we round it to nearest 100, the answer is 2,900. The answer is D. When the answer choices are this close to each other, this is where you have to be very careful. You cannot be a little bit, you cannot be uh, sloppy because otherwise you can end up picking 3,000 or maybe 2,800. 
I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.